Hi guys, today I wanted to share with you my Rose Gold Kate Spade Zip Planner. I absolutely love this planner. I purchased this at the outlet store several weeks ago. It is the new release for 2015. It is absolutely gorgeous and I love it. I own the black one as well. But for Thanksgiving, I just thought that the rose gold would go a lot better with my color theme of the papers and the items that I wanted to put inside my planner. I am going to open this up and show you guys what's inside. This is what the planner looks like when you open it. I absolutely love the way it came out. I tried to use some traditional colors like the brown, the green, and the oranges for Thanksgiving and fall, but I also wanted to use non-traditional colors like pink. And I figured the pink would incorporate really well with the Thanksgiving and fall colors because of the interior of the rose gold, which is pink, and I really love the way it came out. I'm gonna show you a close-up of the pockets on the left. I added several ephemera pieces and I love this one here that says turning a new leaf. I had these felt leaves inside my stash so I added those into the pocket. I absolutely love those. Those are my favorite part of this pocket portion of my planner. I have this ephemera piece that says fall is in the air and I created this paper clip using a glittered chipboard leaf that I had in my stash as well and I just added a paper clip to it and I love the way it ties back to turning a new leaf. I added several items from the Planner Society October kit this BU flare button, this gorgeous round post-it pad, and the plan paper clip. I love those pieces. I also added a ephemera piece that says traditions and let's go, and I love the way it pairs up with the plan paper clip. I also have some ephemera pieces here that are green and pink just to tie over with all of the colors. I really love the way the pocket came on this side of the planner. And what I love about it is nothing is loose. So even if I put it in my purse or if I put it inside of a bag, nothing is coming loose from the side pockets. I really, really like the way that came out. On the right side, we have my dashboard. Now the dashboard, I have a plastic fly leaf on top of it, but I do have it paper clipped together. This paper clip is also from the Planner Society kit for October. You're gonna hear me say that a lot because I did incorporate a lot of items from the October Planner Society kit. Now this card right here is a vellum card. I love this card. I thought it was perfect for the holidays. It says be present in all things and thankful for all things. And I'm definitely thankful for a lot of things that I have. So I really thought this was an important message. I wanted to put it on my dashboard. I love this ephemera piece that says November. It's gonna get really cold really soon, and I'm sure for a lot of us, it is really cold. And this background paper here is from the Planner Society kit for October as well. I love the way the pink and this orangish red color and the green tied back to everything else that I put inside the planner. I absolutely love it. I have a Heidi Swap um, puffy sticker up on the top that says enjoy and a piece of ephemera that says busy week because I feel like every week in November is going to be very busy. So that is how the front of my planner looks when you first open it. Now some of the changes I made from my October setup was I did not have a shaker page in here and I do not have a gold foiled card. I figured I wanted to try something different and change it up a little for fall and November. I'll be bringing those elements back in when I set this up for the holidays for Christmas and I will show you the guys that at the end of November, beginning of December. Okay, I'm gonna flip this open and I'm gonna show you the wide view of this because I wanted to show you how I have the same papers on both sides. This is my dashboard and this is my first tab, which is my weekly tab. I loved this pattern paper so much with these doilies. I wanted to have it on both sides of my calendar pages. I also love this little girl from the Planner Society. She is so cute, so I wanted to incorporate 
her as well. Now these inserts on the right here are from So Much Crafting. These are brand new. Danielle just put these in her shop and I love them. So I'm gonna show them to you real quick because I don't know if everybody has seen them yet. They are the months for 2016. I really like that. I felt that was one of the elements that I was missing in my inserts. But the thing that I am absolutely crazy about is this pull out calendar. I love it. You have your months, January through December. You have each of your days numbered all the way across. And on the top, it tells you the day of the week. And there are so many things that you can use this chart for. Um, I can't even begin to list, but there are vacations. You can mark off your vacations on this. You can uh, mark off your personal and your sick days if you're working. If not, you can um, track your kids' activities for school. Uh, you can do so many things here. You can do your menstrual cycle. I know that's a little TMI, but I think this would be perfect for that because what's nice about it is it folds up and it's very private. You can put a little paper clip here to keep it more private or a piece of washi tape. And this way, if somebody goes in your planner, they're not likely to open this sheet. They probably won't even know it's there. And then there is another one for 2017. I absolutely love these inserts if you don't have them I would say run to her shop right now and grab them this is my first laminated tab I did laminate my tabs this month and I wish I hadn't <laughs> I really don't like laminated tabs I am a more of a scrapbook person and I like to decorate my inserts and my dividers and the lamination kind of prevents me from doing that. So I wanted to test it this month and you guys won't see it again. <laughs> You'll see just regular scrapbook paper that is not laminated. Now as far as the tabs go here, I found a really awesome file online that helped me cut these out on my silhouette and I'm really, really happy with the results. So the file comes with six different tabs all the way down, and you don't have to guess about cutting or anything like that. I just use my label maker to put labels on each one, and my tabs are weekly, daily, to-do lists. I have um, Pen Pal, Holiday, and Miscellaneous. Those are all the tabs that run down the side, and I'll show you each of the sections. Okay, so this first one is my weekly. I absolutely love this floral paper, and I am so glad that I doubled up the pattern. Don't be afraid to do that. Double up your patterns if you really like them. As you can see, the paper is double-sided, so it doesn't look like you're just using the same paper over and over again. Here are my weekly inserts. These are from uh, Danielle from So Much Crafting as well. Now, this divider here that says um, right now with the gold polka dots, this is actually from my Color Crush planner, but I really liked it, so I included it in there. This is my current week that's happening now. I was really excited I got my pen gems on Thursday, so I ended up saving the sticker from the package and putting it in there. So here are just some of the activities that I have going on this week. It always seems busy, like I said, and I have not started next week yet. So we're gonna go on to the next tab. My next tab is my daily tab. I love the way this one came out. It says Autumn Blessings, and I have a paper clip from BB Crafty up on the top. I really love this paper clip because of the glitter that's on it. Really, really cute. And it's not shedding glitter, so I really like that. And I did add the rhinestones. It did not come with the rhinestones, but that's something that you can always do. If you get a paper clip that you don't think is dressy enough, you can just add some rhinestones or some enamel dots and you can dress it up to your liking. And that is my second tab. In this tab here, I keep my daily inserts. I do these only when I have a really busy day. I do not do them every day. It would be too much for me. So like I said, I pick and choose which days that I write a day is total list out on. Here is the left side of my page. This Be Your Own Inspirations card was also from the October planner society kit and as you can see even though this part was laminated I did scrapbook style on it anyway it didn't prevent me 
but like I said, next time I will not be laminating my inserts. And then the back of this paper clip was a little too plain for me, so Dan Danny from Pop Fizz Paper gave me these really cute enamel dots in a rack, and I thought it would be perfect on there and dress up the back of the paper clip and make it blend in with all my other elements. I really like the way that came out. Okay, my next tab is to do and lists. I just put a piece of ephemera here. This paper here is from the Planner Society and if you can read it, it says Planner Society Girl over and over again. I really like that a lot. The only weird thing about this paper is this writing is facing in the right direction but the hearts are going sideways. I wonder if Christy made a mistake and wanted to print the hearts the up and down way to match with this side of the paper. To me, it really didn't make a difference, so I decided to keep it. This is my getting it done lists and to do section. These are not time oriented. These are just projects that I wanna complete. I do have a complete list now. I'm just showing you a blank insert, also from So Much Crafting. My next tab is my pen pal tab. I just have some post-it stickers that are really old. They're from Smash, but I really like the trees. It just reminded me of autumn and I wanted to put them on this laminated tab. And I love, love this paper right here with this girl. It matches back to the card that I had in the front on my dashboard. So I'm really happy with this. This section here is my pen pal section, which I am totally failing at majorly people. I have so many people that I have to return happy mail to, it's not even funny. I received at least four packages and didn't return back the happy mail, and that is horrible fail on me. <laughs> but don't worry guys, I'm working on it. That is my goal for next week is to get some happy mail out to all of my pen pal people. Okay, and then this card here was also from the Planner Society October Kit. Love this card. It is so pretty and it says, be kind always. So it's just a reminder to always be kind no matter what. And this is just a Heidi Swap paper clip that I had that I thought went really well with it. On the other side I have an ephemera piece that says fall days are fun days because they certainly are. And then my next tab is my holiday tab. I really loved these flowers. They worked really well with the green, the pink, and the orange, and this reddish pink color that I had going with the rest of my dividers. This is also from the Planner Society but it was a pass kit. It was not the October kit. And I also loved this side of the paper. I just thought it was so unique. And as you can see, I didn't add anything on top of it. Now this here is my holiday tab, and I'm so excited about these inserts. These here are also from Danielle from So Much Crafting, and they were a limited edition special kit that she made for her Facebook group. If you are not following So Much Crafting on Facebook, you are totally missing out because you are gonna miss out on special little secret kits like this. Only the people in her Facebook group were um, told about these kits. So if you didn't have the information, you didn't know that they were in her shop under a custom listing. I believe they're completely sold out now, so I apologize for that, guys. But I am so excited because when I saw the Christmas kit that she created, I was wanting so badly to have a Thanksgiving one. And this one here is Count Your Many Blessings, 10 Things I'm Thankful For. I'm still working on this list. I'm not sure what I'm gonna be putting there yet. We have the November Monthly View, which I love. We have family traditions, which I'm gonna start writing in next week because I, I do have those listed elsewhere. We have dinner plans, and I love the dinner plans. They are so smart. It is the dish, the person that's bringing it, if it needs to go in the oven, and what time. And these work perfectly. Even if you're not having guests that are bringing dinner, you can use this center column for something else, but you can list your dishes if they need to go in the oven and the time they need to go in. I like to have things timed out because then it makes me be able to have everything ready at one time. 
The next list is grocery lists, and these will be definitely packed solid by the time Thanksgiving comes. We have travel plans. Now, I don't know if we're gonna be traveling, but I like to have it just in case. And decoration ideas, those are cool as well. And then I really love this section here. It's 30 days of giving thanks. I've already started it. I've been using small icon stickers to mark my different things. Today is the sixth, so I have up to the sixth filled in, and I'm really happy and excited the way it's coming out. I'm gonna add a lot more stickers and washi tape to this Thanksgiving section. I just haven't done so because I just received these inserts today. And then we have a notes section. And then at the end of it, I just have this happy Thanksgiving project life card that I hole punched and put in and then my favorite big gold paper clip. <laughs> my last divider is miscellaneous. Now this paper here was just in my stash. I thought the color played really well on the pink orangish color that I have going throughout the planner. So I added that in and I decorated the back of it that says so thankful with washi tape and some project life cards. And then this project life card, I really, really liked. It says life was meant for good friends and grand adventures. And I really, really like that. So I hole punched that and added to that to the planner as well. In the miscellaneous section, I have birthdays and anniversaries, and then I believe I have some random note paper. In the back of my planner, I have Planner Society stickers from the October kit, and then I have my brand new pen gems in white, and I love it. This is the gold and white one, and I'll show you a close-up of it. Guys, this pen is gorgeous. I could care less how it writes. It's just so gorgeous. But believe it or not, I do like the way it writes. It does come with black ink. You can request your refills to be in blue ink, but there are a lot of different refills that you can purchase from this company from Pen Gems. There are 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.7, there's 1.0, so there's different thicknesses. There's different types of inks that you can buy like gel, ballpoint, things like that. There's also a hybrid ink, which I'm really interested in trying. And there are tons of different colors. So I love the fact that the pen is refillable and it fits really nicely in the back. And I love the way the white loads off of the pink and the rose gold. So that is everything that is inside my planner. I absolutely love it. It is packed solid, but I like to pack mine as solid and full as possible. I also have this gorgeous tassel from Hot Pink Stuff from Etsy. I never say her name right, so I'm gonna put it right here so that you guys know what the right store name for Etsy is. It's pink and it has the gold band around the center. I love the way it looks with the rose gold Kate Spade planner. And I keep it up at the top and I do keep this planner in my bag and in my purse and I just close it up. I zip it and I never zip across the top and I'm okay with that because nothing is gonna fall out of this. And as I showed you earlier in the video, I try to make everything as securely as possible in this in these pockets. Some of this stuff is a little loose, but most of it won't move too much. And I really love the way this came out. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them below. And I would love to see if you guys have planner setup videos. Just leave me a message below. Tell me what your channel name is and I will definitely come and hunt you down. <laughs> In a good way, I promise. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.